name is Nigel Chambers of Big Go Boat Media. Galen Ryan, it's a pleasure to talk to you two today. Hi. Nice to meet you, you, sir. Uh, huge fan of to you. So um, the fact I get to talk to you two together is going to uh, be a little bit of a challenge for me here. <laughs> I've been a fan for so long from True Blood, from Glow. Um, it's, it's, it's in, in, and now this now, because I'm now checking out the entire season. Fantastic work. Uh, way to keep us on the edge of our seat the entire time. Way to yank us in one direction, then pull us the other direction. It's just a fantastic job. Much what I would expect from the two of you. Uh, but you two on the screen together is just not fair. Like, come on, y'all. Like, that, that, that's too much to contain, folks. But fantastic job. That's so sweet. Um, I do want to... I, oh no! I'm sorry. Um, I do. I do want to mention the third member of the family here in David Alexander Capital. Yes. Um, I would love to know working with and what what's that experience? Of, you know, bringing the knowledge and experience that you two have, like having him shine as if he had the same amount of rep as you had in your career. That's a wonderful question. One we haven't got. You want to start no, with? Please. Yeah. No. Uh, I mean, I really connected with David. I th I felt like it was important for us to kind of. Um, as um, fragmented as that family is, it's still a family at the end of the day. And, you know, Margaret has her way of, of raising Rufus and Tom sort of doesn't take too lightly of that. And he tries to kind of uh, um, put him further ahead of his age, you know, act as if you're, you're older than you are, son. He, he wants him drinking at, uh, you know, before he's even eight years old. You know, this is a, it's a, it, it's strange. He's a product of his time and place. And I think David really, he dove deep and he, yeah. there was a, I remember one scene where he breaks his leg and um, oh. there was such a guttural scream that he, he kind of yelled out. And I said, listen, I'm going to come in and I'm going to squeeze your leg. So I want you to kind of, go to that place inside where it uh, it hurts you. And he did, you know, he, he was. I, I was, I was um, shook. I was like, I, I, I have to go back to school, honestly. <laughs> I was like, I have to raise the bar. It was kind of, it was, he's, he's a real professional and such a, a sweet, sweet kid. Actually, we got blessed in this one, man, because a, a lot of our young actors really came correct, you know, and even you know, speaking of young actors, like Mallory Johnson, like her first, roll straight out of Juilliard, like, get out of here. Um, we're gonna be tired. seeing her name and her face for a long time coming, and rightly so. This is such a, um, yeah, a standout performance, and you know, knowing the legacy of, of what she's dealing with, I couldn't help but feel the enormous amount of weight that was on her shoulders, but the girl shined. Yeah, she's incredible. Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. And um, I think, you know, come December 13th, a lot of people are going to be talking about this. I'm already, as I said, seen season one, I'm already looking forward to season two because performance is up and down the board. And uh, much like you, you mentioned, whether it is, you know, our, our, our main cast or supporting characters or a young cast, everybody brings. I thought that Brandon did a fantastic job in giving yeah. even the smallest characters the biggest moments, yeah. the, the, the game changing, plot changing moments. Uh, just fantastic. Uh, I would love to know uh, what was sort of your um, knowledge and 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 uh, of the novel and what was the call like upon being casted for uh, this series. Mm. I actually had never read Kindred. I I was more familiar with Parable of the Sower, which I was just like blown away by. Um, and when I read Kindred, I was I was kind of taken to a different level, like emotionally, of of Octavia Butler's like relationship with herself. I think you know it was really cool. Um, and when I found out, I'm trying to remember where I was. I was moving into a new apartment, and I um it was unfurnished, <laughs> which is ironic because that's what Dana's doing. Yeah. Um, and I felt really overwhelmed I was so excited I was just so excited and I know I I know it's gonna be a great project if I'm like a little scared I always get a little scared like right when I because it's ha it's gonna happen hopefully you know yeah and that was really exciting yeah. to feel uh yeah I, I, as you were talking I was just thinking um yeah. there was the uh, everything you touch changes you Octavia sort of said that and it was and, and the only lasting truth is change so I couldn't help but feel that when I read the book that I am forever changed now. And then uh, I read the book before reading Brandon's uh, sort of adaption of it and to see how well he's adapted her essence because you kind of highlighted this earlier. The book isn't rich on, on um, 
it's pretty stark, the prose. So we, in, in film and television, you need to have, you know, some dialogue to keep things rocking and rolling. And so mm -hmm. Brandon did a great job of sort of um, pinpointing the essence of the character and then just um, bringing out their voices. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's a lot of um, very, uh, <laughs> should I say, some very unconventional moments between the two characters. And I know you haven't had a chance to see them, so you're not sure what's in there, what's not in there. But uh, there's a particular moment uh, you that has to do with eating. Eating? <laughs> oh, right. You mean the process of eating? Yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> so so even, even though you all did the work and, and you are a part of the series, uh, is there particular moments that you're excited to see on screen uh, that you remember from filming? That, I mean, that particular moment's a pretty good example. Um, yeah, that was... Because I think it's it was one of the more absurd um, and 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 ultimately like quite um, not redeeming but kind of um, they got what they deserved you know moments yeah. which I you know really really appreciate yeah the, the, those moments of like where you get the chance to take a, take a breath and have a bit of a laugh they're not few and far between but when you get them you you have to take them in this show because mm -hmm. it ratchets back up real quick and so. Yeah to get your little bit of a, of, of a break, just to catch yourself, to find yourself again, and then we, we're off again. Mm. Um, <laughs> but everything was really smartly moving the story forward. Nothing was there for, sort of for shock value or for any other reason mm -hmm. than moving and evolving the story. No, 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 not a question. And, you know, I thought it was uh, absolutely brilliant for FX and Hulu to uh, put this all out as a binge watch because the, the, the pacing, the toning, the balance of this, I mean, one hour and the next thing you know, all eight episodes are all done. So it's just that type That's of a exciting. ride and just fantastic performances by the two of you. And it's been an absolute pleasure and dream to talk to you two about this. And yeah. as I've been saying to everybody, there's more story to be told. So hopefully we get a chance to talk down the line uh, come season two and beyond. So oh yeah, man, so we, we fully fully believe this has the legs and I appreciate yeah. the, the, the support, support, kind words. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Folks, gotta go support it December 13th on Hulu and it's been a pleasure to talk to you, Gail and Ryan today. Thank you so much. Thanks, pleasure man. You. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Oh my God, so sweet. Yeah. Genius. Genius.